Brussels sprouts, one of my favorite vegetables. Some people like to roast them in the oven. I prefer to serve them with bacon. So what I do to prepare them uh, is I boil of water, add some salt to a boiling water, and then put all my Brussels sprouts in there. I leave them only for two, maybe three minutes. Uh, you don't want to cook them. You just want to make them a little bit softer so it's e they're easier to, to put them on the pan uh, so they can get cooked on the pan faster. Brussels sprouts are like uh, little cabbages and uh, I, a lot of people don't like them for some reason. Maybe if you don't like cabbage, you would not uh, like Brussels sprouts as well. But bacon, bacon makes everything taste better. At least that's how I feel. So I have here a couple of slices of a regular bacon. You can also use pancetta to make it a little bit fancier. I slice it and then put it on a heated nonstick pan. If it's nonstick pan, that way you can render in a fat. So again, you do not have to use any oil or butter. After two or three minutes, I remove Brussels sprouts from the water and I drain them and then cut them in halves. I preheated my nonstick uh, ceramic pan and put that bacon uh, right on a pan. Uh, probably it's going to take about five minutes for the fat to render. So once you have enough fat, you can uh, start putting Brussels sprouts and use that fat to make them nice and brown. This is by far my favorite technique for Brussels sprouts because they uh, get enough flavor from that bacon as well as uh, basically they get nice and brown and uh, very nice and moist for what i learned that when i put them in the oven they they get a little bit dry unless you put a lot of oil on them uh, and i prefer not to do that you can use a brussels sprout cooked this way for any vegetable uh, balls or it's also great for a side dish like a um, nice steak or roasted chicken. I also use it for my Thanksgiving dinner. It's one of my side dishes. After I finished spreading them all out on a pan, I season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I leave them for at least 10 minutes on a medium heat so they can get nice and brown. I don't touch them, I don't stir them. And they look like they are ready to be flipped on the other side. You see, uh, they became slightly brown. And now we're gonna be cooking it for another 10, maybe five minutes, flipping them occasionally. One thing I have to admit is this way is definitely more labor intense because you have to constantly attend to them. If you put them in the oven on the other side, you just put them a certain amount of time and set it and forget it. This way, actually, you have to pay attention to them so they don't brown too fast or, or burn. But the flavor, uh, I don't think you can go wrong with you know bacon with your Brussels sprouts. One thing why people might not like Brussels sprouts is because they overcook them. Once you overcook them and they become mushy or too soft, they lose their flavor and I, I have to agree, they're quite nasty. So you have to find that perfect balance uh, between their, their softness and crunchiness. And this time um, I served uh, my Brussels sprouts with this beautiful bowl of vegetables and rice and some roasted chicken. I hope you find this recipe helpful. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe.